What's good everybody? After the detailed science of the IF diet video that I put out, a lot of y'all wanted a detailed diet plan when it comes to the intermittent fasting lifestyle. Now what you need to know is that I'm not going to be putting out a diet plan, but what I will do is that I'll put out a blueprint. Now depending on your fitness goals, you'll have to either stay above your maintenance calorie level or below it. If you want to calculate your own maintenance calories, make sure you Google it and then figure out what you want to do. If you want to put on muscle, you got to go slightly above your maintenance calories and if you want to burn off fat, you got to stay slightly below your maintenance calories. Now intermittent fasting is all about that 16 hour fast and then you have 8 hours to eat what you want. Now rule number one is that you stop eating at around 10 o'clock at night and then you can start eating the next day at 2 p.m. If you can stretch your fast further than that, go for it. If you can stretch it to an 18 hour fast, that's all right. But in that six hour, eight hour feeding window, you wanna fit in all your calories depending on your goal. Now in today's video, I'm just gonna show you the blueprint that I follow. My maintenance is at about 2,500 calories. And I'm not trying to really burn off fat, I'm just trying to stay at maintenance, put on muscle, put on a little bit of strength. Me personally, I'm gonna eat at that 2,500 calorie range. As usual on Beer Biceps, I never recommend that you calculate each of your meals and you calculate all your calories. You have to go according to a rough estimate. So you eat food and the next day you measure your weight. You see how your weight is responding to your diet from the previous day. And more importantly, look at yourself in the mirror over the course of say a week. If you feel like you're looking much better than you were at the start of the week, means you're doing something right. Continue along that tangent. If you feel like you're becoming fat, that means you're having a lot of calories. And if you feel like you're losing weight too rapidly, that means your calorie intake is very less. So from today's video, I want all of you to just get a rough blueprint of how to design your own diet. Remember, it's 2017. It's not about the dietitians. It's about educated individuals. Starting with education number one, in your fasting period, you are probably going to feel hungry, especially for the first two, three days of doing the fast. And that's why your go-to to kill off all that hunger is either black coffee, which I'm not a fan of, or green tea. Again, I don't recommend having stimulants every single day, but on days where you can't deal with the hunger at all, go for something like green tea. Green tea does a gorgeous job of making you feel satiated through your fasting period. So even if you're someone who's in college or who goes to an office to work, you can get easy access to green tea or black coffee. If you want to choose between the two, go for something like green tea because it's a lot less addictive and it has a lot less caffeine. So meal number one, whether you're at home, if you're in college or even if you're at work, carry a big serving of fruit with you. Remember, you have eight hours to get in all the nutrition possible and you're getting a lot of nutrients from this bowl of fruit. If you want to go even healthier, if you want to burn off more fat, go for a big serving of vegetables instead. But if you have an active lifestyle, you do need all these extra carbs and extra sugars from fruit just to fuel you at the beginning of your fast. So in this case, I'm just going for mangoes and melons, two of the summer fruits we have here in India, but keep changing it up every day. Okay, so it's time to talk about real food. Now you have time for about three to four meals and according to my maintenance calorie level, I'm supposed to get in around 2,500 calories. So if you divide that by four, that's about 600 calories in every meal, a little more than 600 calories. That's if you want to hit maintenance. Now this is what I'm eating. Obviously a big serving of carbohydrate. So we've got about 150 to 160 grams of brown rice or so. I've also got 150 grams of chicken breast, which I have cooked in ghee. Now that's the key with IF. In those three to four meals, you want to pack in as many calories as you can. And a great way to do that is including great fat sources like ghee or nuts or egg yolk. In this case, I've just fried the chicken in a good amount of ghee, about two tablespoons, just to kind of hit my calorie mark with this meal. Remember, if your goal is to burn fat, you want to stay below your maintenance calories. So the only change you make is that you avoid all that extra ghee and all those extra fat macros. You focus on getting your protein and your carbs in and of course, try getting your nutrition from the dal and your fiber from these veggies. Make sure you have just a little bit of veggies with every single meal. You've got mixed veggies and a little extra bit of paneer to amp up that protein intake. Your meal has to be some kind of variant of this. At the end of the day, you need to see how your weight is responding to all your meals. So if you want to cut on the calories, don't fry the chicken and ghee, just grill it. And if you want to try to put on weight or put on muscle, make sure you include some of those fat macros. Fat is not bad for you or your heart. 
In fact, at the end of the day, it's all about getting nutrition from the fat in and getting all those calories to put on healthy muscle weight. That's what you go for. And remember, the final thing you've got to keep in mind is that this meal is a part of my diet plan. In this video, I'm not giving you guys a diet plan. I'm giving you guys a blueprint, an outline for you to follow. Don't follow these exact food items. You can substitute the chicken for fish or for paneer or for soya chunks or for red meat or for eggs. You can substitute the carbs for some other clean carbohydrate like oats or upma or rotis. You just need to remember the blueprint. So your job is to choose one thing from all these options but just remember a large portion of protein, a large portion of carbohydrates, a good portion of fiber and an optional portion of dal. If you want to lose weight, keep your fat macros really low, grill your protein but if you want to put on that little extra bit of weight, you can afford that extra bit of ghee or that extra egg yolk or those nuts in your meals. Okay guys, so it's time for my pre-workout and usually what I do is I have protein an hour before the workout and carbs half an hour before the workout. But IF is all about those time constraints and it's all about fitting maximum macros in a minimum meals. So in this case, I've got an omelette of two whole eggs and about four egg whites and two whole wheat toasts. If you're a vegetarian, you can also go for something like upma. Now, a lot of people tend to gym in the mornings instead of the evenings like how I do and like how most college students do. So if you're someone who gyms in the morning, I'd suggest you continue that routine. It doesn't matter and continue your IF diet just how I've shown you. This is a pre-workout meal for me, but keep in mind, IF is all about packing in carbs and protein whenever you can. So two hours after that previous big IF breaking meal that I had, this is the meal I go for. Once again, just a serving of carbs and a serving of protein. When it comes to workouts on IF, I ideally recommend that you go and work out after your stomach is a little bit full. That's what works for me best, but at the end of the day, you have to figure out your own system. You aren't really going to be a disadvantage if you work out in a fasted state, but whenever your stomach is full and your glycogen stores and your muscles are full, you can always push a little bit harder in the gym. That's why I always suggest that when it comes to working out during your IF, you take it up in the middle of your feeding period somewhere. And that's why just before the workout, a good portion of carbs and a good portion of protein. Just got done with working my legs and my back. And this is the point where you should go for a protein shake. But if you're not someone who likes protein shakes, that's okay. You can go home and have maybe another portion of eggs or another portion of chicken or any kind of protein, whatever it is, paneer, doesn't matter. Again, blueprint, blueprint, blueprint. It's all about the blueprint. Get some protein in. I also had bananas right now, a very nice, simple carb source, also giving you a little bit of fiber. Remember, it's all about that protein and it's all about those simple carbs. That's what you need to follow. Post-workout time, we've got complex carbs in the form of sweet potato. We have a chicken breast and of course, we have my regular raw veggies. You don't have to eat raw veggies. You can go for any cooked home sabzi, but I prefer my raw veggies. Just make sure you're getting a good serving of fiber in your dinner as well. Again, this is just a blueprint. If you have access to some other meat like red meat or fish, go for that instead of the chicken. You can go for another complex carb as well. The only key is that you follow the blueprint and you follow your calorie goal. Once again, fried in ghee to perfection. Okay guys, the last and final meal of IF is completely optional and you should only have it if you're trying to hit that maintenance calorie level or go above your maintenance and try to put on muscle mass. We're talking about fat macros, we're talking about protein macros and we're talking about a late night snack. I've just got nuts with me here. So in this case, I've just got almonds, but you can substitute it with any nut of your choice. Mix it up once in a while, use cashews, use walnuts. If you don't have access to nuts, you can go for another one or two egg omelette late at night. Works perfectly fine. Remember, the whole point of this video is not to follow what I've eaten. It's to understand how to go about an IF diet according to your goals. Keep that in mind, I will be coming out with more I have diet videos in the future. But if you're someone who's just looking to burn off fat, I highly recommend you also go and check out the weight loss playlist on Beer Biceps. If you liked today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time guys.